Hello students. Now we will start the exercise solving of lesson number 1 of standard 6. In our previous video, you have watched the explanation of this lesson. So now let us start with the exercise solving. Myself, Mrs. Prachi Surudikar will explain you the answers of the questions that are asked. The question number 1 in the exercise is fill in the blanks. So let us have a look on this question. The first fill in the blank is the layer of ozone gas absorbs dash rays that come from the sun to the earth. The answer is UV. UV, the long form of UV rays is ultraviolet rays. These rays are very harmful for us. So, the answer of first fill in the blank is UV. I will read this fill in the blank again. The layer of ozone gas absorbs UV rays that come from the sun to the earth. The second question is, of the total water available on the earth, fresh water forms dash percent. The answer is 0.3%. On the earth, the water is present in various forms, fresh water form, salt water form, frozen form. So out of that, in the fresh water forms, the water is present in 0.3%. Both dash and dash constituents are present in the soil. So the answer over here is biotic and abiotic. Biotic components includes all living things and abiotic components includes non-living things like air, water, land and togetherly this biotic and abiotic constituents are present in the soil. So these are the answers of question number 1, fill in the blanks. You can note these answers in your notebook, write the date, write the lesson's name and start to note it down. You can pause the video and note the answers. Now let us move towards the question number 2. The question number 2 is, why is it said that? The first question asked is, the ozone layer is a protective shell of the earth. So now we have to give the answer that why it is called that the ozone layer is a protective shell of the earth. So the answer of this question is, the ozone layer is a protective shell of the earth because the ultraviolet rays coming from the sun are very harmful for living things. As I told you that these UV rays can cause even the skin cancer, skin diseases redness, patchiness on the skin. So these UV rays are very dangerous and those harmful rays are coming from the sun and these ozone gas absorbs these UV rays. So the second point of answer is the ozone gas absorbs these rays and as a result life on the earth get protected. Hence the ozone layer is a protective shell of the earth. The second question asked over here is water is life. The answer of this question is water is life because first point of the answer is the blood of animals and the sap in plants contains a very high proportion of water. No living thing can survive without water. Can we survive without water? No. And the third answer is, therefore it is said that water is life. Now let us move towards the next third question. Is sea water is useful even though it is not potable? The word potable means the water which can be Drunk is called as the potable water. 
the water which we can drink is the potable water so we cannot drink the sea water so even we are not drinking the sea water why it is useful why it is said that it is useful so the answer is sea water is useful even though it is not potable because first point of the answer is water from the oceans can be used for making electricity in many countries whatever the water is present in the ocean that is used to rotate the turbines and the electricity that comes in our home that can be made from the water which is present in the sea so nuclear power plants require the coolant like water to bring down the temperature of the reactors this demand is fulfilled by the water from the oceans the factories where nuclear weapons are created or the nuclear reactions are taking place there the so much amount of heat is released so to reduce that temperature because of the heat coolant is required so like in our home also to make a pan which is very hot we are using coolant like we pour the water so that the pan is becoming the cold similarly here in the nuclear power plants to cool this nuclear reactors the water is used and that water is of sea water third point is many living organisms are present in water so you can find various fishes various algae so many plants and animals that are present in the water and that sea water is very important for them because they will not be able to survive if the sea water is not there and hence it is called as sea water is useful even though it is not potable the question number 3 is what will happen if first question asked over here is microbes in the soil get destroyed what will happen that you have to answer what will happen if the microbes in the soil will get lost or will get destroyed so first of all you have to know that microbes are very important so if those microbes in the soil get destroyed then there will not be a formation of humus humus means what whatever the dead and decaying matter is present on in the soil that get decomposed by this bacteria and the humus is formed this humus is having high nutritive value so if that humus will not be formed then the soil will lost its nutrition so the first point is there will not be formation of humus hence the soil will lost its nutrition the second point is fertility of the soil will get reduced the soil is fertile because of the bacteria and that is why the crops are growing very nicely because of the bacteria and the microbes that are present in the soil if these microbes are not there what will happen the fertility of soil will get reduced now the next question is the number of vehicles and factories in your surrounding increases so if the number of vehicles and factories in your surrounding increases then these vehicles will start to emit the harmful gases like carbon dioxide carbon monoxide right so the first point is harmful gases are given out through combustion of fuels in the vehicles the second point is as a result air pollution will increase day by day the next question is the total supply of potable water is finished i told you that potable water is the water which we can drink if the total supply of potable water is finished then first there will not be a water for drinking and if the water is not there there will not be a life on the earth so hence the life on the earth will get destroyed so thank you students we have covered up to question number 1 to question number 3 remaining questions we will cover in our next video thanks for watching